everybody, it's Pazu here again. Welcome back to my channel. And I, before I begin, I just wanted to thank everybody for 600 plus subscribers. Once I reach a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. I don't know what I will be going to be giving away, but yes, once I reach a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway so um it is so surreal to me that i've reached 600 subscribers in so little amount of time i want to thank every single one of you guys for supporting and subscribing to my channel thank you so 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 much and i love you guys all so 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 much for that anyways i am officially 36 weeks pregnant this week and i which means I have officially four weeks left until Leo's due date, which is September 19th, 19th, 2016. Sorry, I'm having like a hard time to talk right now. But, um, yes, that has been so like, my pregnancy has been so different to me. So I don't have my pregnancy app, so it's going to take me a while to read what's on the website. Because my husband and I switched phones today. Um, okay. So according to the pregnancy uh, website, my baby is about 6 pounds and 18 to 19 inches long right now. He is compared to be as big as a large cantaloupe. And I don't know how big a cantaloupe can get, but... Um, that's what it says, so I'm just gonna go with it. Skull bones are not yet fused together yet, so the head can easily maneuver through the birth canal. So um, I guess that's good because it's easier for me to push without hurting him. Um, most of his bones and cartilage are very soft as well. Of course, again, allowing an easier journey through the world during delivery, which is... A very good thing so I don't end up like hurting him or anything um so baby's digestion isn't as like ready for the outside life that's why throughout the infant years or infant months they are fed through liquid only most of the time until they're like six seven eight months you know so that's pretty much all I have an update for a baby right now. So let's move on to how I'm feeling. Uh, so my body as of right now, um, technically I'm supposed to be waddling. Uh, sometimes I can feel myself waddle, but some days I, I feel like I walk pretty normally for a pregnant lady. Um, because I do see like women who are at their, who are nine months pregnant, like start to like waddle and stuff. But I'm fairly small for my um to be where I am at right now so I don't feel waddly most of the time from now up until 40 weeks or longer I will start to feel a lightning which is an easier like I'll feel like I could breathe better now but um I don't know if that's changed at all because I still have a hard time breathing so maybe it's just not time for him to like go down lower. But he is head down now from my last uh, OB visit. So yes, he is head down. And he does take up a lot of space. Since considering the fact that I have a very, very like small body. I have a long torso, but like I'm very skinny too. So, so it is more common for me to feel pelvic pain now. Which, uh, I don't know if I felt it or not, but I do feel like pain where the pubic bone is, so maybe that's it. Like I said, I, I don't know how to, like, describe things or feel because this is my first pregnancy and I'm going to be a first-time mom, of course. So I don't really know, like, what to feel and what not to feel and what to be concerned about, what not to be concerned about, so, um, yeah. Um... So as for symptoms, I am one of the unlucky people in the world or women in the world that feels pregnancy sickness, pregnancy sickness or morning sickness throughout my whole entire pregnancy. It was okay. It kind of died down throughout the second trimester, but as the third trimester has come back, I felt really, really like 
sick again, like morning sickness, all day sickness, my nauseousness has come back, my vomiting has come back and everything. Earlier today I drank a cup of coffee and I think normally iced coffee and stuff would be okay for me but when I drink warm coffee it all just comes back out. So it has affected me this morning. I puked all that out which is disgusting and I'm sorry like hella TMI right now but... For cravings? Yeah. I don't really crave for anything but I'm trying to avoid chicken right now because um, if you guys remember in my last pregnancy update video I had... I have to do a chicken diet a monthly chick a one month chicken diet for my uh what do you call it for because my culture does that or whatever so i have to do that once i have baby so i'm trying to avoid chicken as much as possible because i don't want to get tired of chicken but like i do crave for like snacks and stuff and ice i don't know why i crave ice so much like i usually like when, before I was pregnant, I usually never really ate ice. But now, all that I ever want is ice. Like, and it has zero calories, so it helps as well. And I barely drink water, so it keeps me hydrated. Um, but yeah. So, that is all for my pregnancy update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alright everyone, so that is all for my pregnancy update and I hope to see you guys soon. Like this video if you guys would like a labor and delivery story video and if so, I will be vlogging my, uh, I will be trying my best to be, to vlog my labor and delivery time or whatever and I will also be talking about it and everything. So let me know, like this video if you guys would like to see a video like that. He is compared to the size of a large cantaloupe. I don't know how that works because I've never seen a cantaloupe like that humongously huge. And when I picture six pounds, I was born at six pounds and something ounces. So I don't picture like, a, you know, like you just, but, I don't know. Um, yeah, anyways, my husband is calling me. So we'll continue this in a little bit. Hello? Hi.